Hey guys, we're going. To, we're going to. If we can get up on some mahi mahi dolphin, we're gonna throw some. It says deer chum. This is actually parts of uh, venison, like sinew and all that. You're cutting out when you're cleaning all your meat up from uh, from shooting a harvesting a deer. If we get some dolphin beside the boat, we're going to try to hand feed them deer chum and see if they'll eat it or not. Uh, yesterday we caught some, a grouper, some porgies, some yellowtail snapper, and grunts uh, using that little chunks of deer meat. So we're gonna see what happens offshore. So come along with us. Never tried it before. We'll see what happens. And just like that, we're back at the boat. Waiting on my beautiful wife, Lisa, and my son-in-law, Shane. They'll be going out on the boat with us this, this afternoon. So hopefully, according to the trees, usually those palm trees have been blown over sideways all week. So hopefully the wind lays down a little bit. Uh, swell is supposed to be two foot every 11 seconds, which isn't perfect, but it's not bad at all. So we're going to go out there and see what we can do. Hopefully put some fish on the boat. And uh, you're coming along with us. So we'll see uh, when we head out, when we hit the water out there. These are what we're trolling with. That's the mahi colored one. Then we got the purple one. I've caught black fin tuna and mahi mahi dolphin on both colors. So I don't know which one's better. But we'll have a purple against the green today and see what happens. Hopefully one of them will get something. All right guys, we got the poles out. We got a feather on this one, dolphin colored feather on this one. A purple feather on this one down here purple feather on this one right here on the shotgun way out we just started just started trolling so let's see what happens all right guys we finally found our first good weed line we got one on each side of the boat little weed line over on the right little weed line over on the left so we're trolling we're trolling our feathers right in the center of two weed lines a little, a little closer to the camera we're right in between both weed lines we're gonna see what what happens fish on guys Here, babe. You want to hold the boat steady? Or... I don't got another one. Here, Mark, here, babe. Here. Mark, here. Mark, here. Dolphin, here. Dolphin. Here. Okay, stop it. All right. Here. Okay. Hold the camera. All right. Let me sit. Just. What size are they? Flip it in the boat when you get here. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it in the boat. Uh, 20 to the tail. Yeah. Got one, Hold on, hold on, our shit. We're supposed to leave it in the water. Well, you have but, one on. There's a school of them back there. I've seen one jump out of the water. All right, he's still on. He's still on. I think. We got to get that up. Uh, all right, we're going to leave this one in the water. Get the cut bait ready. All right, it's on here. 20 to the fork. Lisa, get the cut bait ready. No, get your rods ready. I got one on right here. What? All right, yeah, that's fine in the cooler. Look, get your rods ready. I'm gonna leave this one in the water. All right, we got the dolphins here, guys. Come on. Cut bait on your rods. There's more with them. There's more with them over here. Shane, don't worry about that one. 
All right, yeah. Throw a couple, just a couple handfuls out there. Hurry, right here. Get it on your rod. Get your rod out there. Let's go. Ah, I saw another. I saw the saw a bull behind it. Down there, guys. All right, there's another one right there. Get him coming towards your bait. All right, let it take it. Let it take it. All right, get it, Lisa. Get it. All right, get it in the, on deer meat. Got it on deer meat. On deer meat. Flip it in the boat. Flip it in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Yeah, on deer meat. Shane, there's another one right here. Shane, another one out here on deer. Here, get it. Ah. All right, hold on. I'm going to let this one go back out again. All right. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just saw it. Ah, guys, it's crazy. Hey, they're gone. Oh, no, there he is. You got him, Shane? <laughs> you want that one in first? Huh? Yeah, bring yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah. All right, bring your mine in. Well, here you go Leave it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> there's another one. There's another one. All right. If this one's gonna measure or not guys let me see what we got what we got uh this one's a little short gotta be two to four that's all right Ooh, just shy just shy so that one's back where's the other one let me see the other one give me some slack in the line i'm still down there i'm still down there more bait. Nice. Yeah. Keeper, keeper. All right. Uh, more bait out. All right. Catch it. Catch it. Yep. Give me some slack. I got to get this hook out. Okay. A little mahi madness going on, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. I don't know where the camera's aimed at right now. But target acquired. That one swallowed the hook. All right, babe, get back out there. Shane, you still got one on? Yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, hold on. Watch your feet. Get the cooler open. Cooler open. We had to go to the big cooler or something. Or on deer meat, guys. We caught those jokers on deer meat. Something we wanted to try and uh, evidently it works. What is it? You see them where? Another thing guys, when you're out here, don't shut your motor off. That's your only ticket from here back to 30 miles back to shore there. So never shut your motor off. Uh, the one you left in the water got off? Yeah. I was trying to keep pinching on him, but uh... That's fine. All right. Yeah, when I was started reeling that one, I seen one jump out of the water. It was your lure. And then just a few seconds later, he was on, and he had one on. That was pretty neat. Give it some slack. He's fishing at yours, Lisa. We got, uh, we got him back at the boat, guys. Oh, yeah. There's school up back here. All right, throw him uh, some some ballyhoo, babe. Yeah. Just throw a handful of ballyhoo. Yep. yep, they hit the deer meat to start with, but now they're being finicky. Put a couple in the boat, and they want to be picky now. 
still got that one with the green hook on it? Yeah. Maybe throw that out there and rip it real fast. So one was just a little hair too short? Yeah, uh, one inch short. The other two are, are nice. I can try bringing this one in real quick. Let's yeah, see what goes on. This one's still out there. I feel like they're reaction. We still got our shotgun out there, guys. We're gonna try to reel it in and see if we can get one of these mahis. They're behind the boat, but they're deeper. They lost interest real quick. Got it. Got it. Oh, all right, Shane's back on. Shane's back on. You got your Whoa! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice one. Got a little airborne there. Okay, okay. Nice. Nice. Have you put one in the boat yet? Yeah. Okay. Or let's you see. If they, no. Or no. Let's just catch his ass. This one here looks like a nice. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Do you need a gaff or just gonna flip him? Or let I'm me get the net. I'm gonna try to flip. Hold on. Yeah. It's not a big school, so whatever. Bring him. Bring him up, baby. Bring him up. Give me your line. All right. Don't force him. All right. You're all right. You're all right. Go ahead and just flip him in the boat or oh is he taking drag yeah it might be the bull there's another one down there below it all right well, one your bait's still out there okay i'll well, bring yours up real really in your bait reel it in reel it in real 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 and then toss your bait right here look right here i think this one here is a bull whatever all right bring it over this way Nice. Nice. Get your rod out there. We have three rods hooked up. I don't know where the third one is. You've got my. Where's your rod at? I don't know. Oh, you having a field day on mine, girlfriend? Okay, I got it right here. Ah, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. We're out here in a 23 foot bay boat using deer meat for bait and we're catching mahi mahi thanks pappy <laughs> i thought it would work evidently it's working oh i guess i gotta put some there on the hook it don't work you still see them uh it's uh we all caught one though this is what we're using guys it says deer chum it's just pieces of venison with sinew hooked to it that i cleaned off the back strap you don't want to eat the venison or the the sinew because it's all real tough makes the meat tough but i saved it and uh we're catching mahi mahi on it now all right guys check out this deer meat <laughs> piece of deer meat we got the hook through the sinew and you can't get it off it uh the last piece i had to take off with pliers it's catching it we're just gonna leave it on here and if we run up on another school we're gonna throw it back out there at them we're supposed to start off trolling again i'll bring you back then that's all we could do i mean we snatched that first one up just to get it yeah. or whatever you leave them in the water and uh it keeps the school around it wasn't a big school though because i only saw like one here and then another one come up whatever it gets crazy don't it and just like that, it was over. Ah, almost forgot to tell y'all guys. My daughter got me a Mahi Mahi Dolphin shirt for my birthday yesterday. And I told her before we left this morning maybe to bring us some luck. So evidently it did. Or maybe not, whatever. But looks like it brought us luck. Thanks, babe. Hey, guys quick safety announcement if you come out here we're 30 miles offshore right now make sure you got the right equipment we got an e-ferb up here 
personal EFER safety beacon. And we got the Garmin, Garmin inReach. I'm texting my daughter the whole time we're out here. I'm sending her a little text or whatever. She's asking how we're doing, but every time I send her a text from that Garmin inReach, it's dropping our pin location. So all I gotta do is say in trouble or whatever, call Coast Guard, whatever, anything. And it has a SOS button on it. But uh, just make sure you have the right equipment. If you come out here, don't shut your motor off because that is your only way back into shore. Control the motor and get you a few miles, but then you're done. You wait until nighttime to set flares off. So just make sure you be careful if you come out here and try this stuff. We'll see ya. We're headed trolling back in. We just had one on and uh, it come off right behind the motor. It got off, but uh, I'll bring you back as soon as we have some more action going on. Other than that, we're, we're easing back into land. All right, guys. We're back here at the dock. We're gonna clean these fillet, these uh, mahi-mahi dolphin that we caught yesterday. Caught two trolling and then caught two on pieces of deer meat that I brought from last year's hunting season. But uh, we did great on it. We've caught several variety of fish. We caught dolphin, we caught grouper, we caught snapper, yellowtail snapper, and grunts. We caught on little pieces of, uh, of just cleaning, cubing up your deer meat, the sinew and all that that makes it real tough before you grind it and saved it in a bag, froze it, and was actually using it for fish bait. And uh, it did pretty good. Here's one of the guys. He liked the way it tastes anyway. Uh, the other one we caught on deer meat was just undersized. We had to let him go. And then we caught two trolling. So we're going to get this one cleaned up. All right, guys. Get up into the head meat. Come in at an angle. Angle. Come up into that head meat. Bring your tip of your blade. right down that dorsal fin right around the rib cage there I like just to cut right off the rib cage. And then I like to leave it on, flip it over. Come down the dorsal fin again. Like so. Then go ahead and take your fillet off. Over there. Around the belly, end up with your two nice fillets. where we're staying at the campground they don't want you throwing the fish parts out in the water you got to put them in the in the waste can here they have a air system set up right here in the canal that prevents stuff from going in and out so if people just piled up the fish parts here the scavengers couldn't keep up with them enough I guess or they don't want all the birds around and everything else that uh, fish parts attract so we'll follow the rules and put it in the garbage can.
They weren't monster dolphin guys, but they were legal. They gotta be 20 inches to the fort. We're in Key Largo. These were 21, 22, uh, but they were, were legal. The same thing, you can either rip the skin off, just pull the skin off. I like to do it with a knife. A nicer, sharper knife would be a little better for the job, but nevertheless, this one will work. You got your fillet, get your skin off of there. Put the skin in the trash. Then we're gonna cut this bloodline out of here, out of our fillet. Just go right down the side of it, like so. Both sides of it. That gets rid of your gamey, real fishy taste. I'm gonna do away with that. And the same thing with this one. Which I'm gonna see. Let's see if I can get it off here. Or no, but we'll try to, we'll rip it off on the next one. I'm just gonna do it same thing. We're gonna use our knife. When you pull the skin off, it just leaves that membrane. So, uh, some people don't like it. Some people don't mind it, can't taste it. I prefer it with the, just to cut the skin off. That's a pretty fish. When you first catch them, how colorful they are, they look like they're hand painted. And then, of course, being in the cooler, they lose their color. But beautiful fish and excellent eating. And the same thing, we're gonna come in. We're gonna cut that bloodline out. Cut that bloodline out there. And there's your fresh mahi fillets. I have another one. Let's see. Let's see here. Let me see. I might pull the skin off of this one. Maybe we'll try to rip the skin off of this one and I'll show you that membrane. Come, come down the back with the tip of your blade there. Flex it down. And then, then grab your skin here. A little slippery. <laughs> Move the knife out of the way. Grab the skin. And you can just pull it right off. Just like that. And it leaves this little little white membrane. Like I said, some it bothers some people. Uh, some people it doesn't. I just always fillet it off the skin. But nevertheless, we'll try it this way too. And then there's your fillet with the membrane. I'm gonna cut this little belly belly meat off here. I don't really care for it. And you see the little the little white membrane is all it leaves on there when you pull the skin off by hand.
Now I guess the next step will be however we decide to cook this. Hey guys, we're here at Hobo's Cafe in Key Largo. We've got our bag of mahi-mahi and a bag of blackfin tuna. We're gonna let the professionals handle it, cook it maybe a couple different ways for us. The blackfin tuna we caught trolling, the mahi we caught on the pieces of deer meat. So let's go in there and check it out. I'm not sure which style we're gonna have them do. Uh, they said they can do it several different ways. You bring your catch, they cook it for you. Let's, let's see what it's all about. Here's the mahi-mahi, guys. We have coconut crusted, godfather, and key lime, key lime style. We're gonna try each one. Ooh. Ooh, that key lime style with the, with the cheese. Very good. Mm. The, this is the godfather. Buttery. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know which one I like the better. And then the coconut crusted. This is the coconut crusted. What are they dipping it right there? Mm. Oh man. I'm gonna say the coconut crusted, lightly deep fried or everything. This is where it's at. <laughs> They're all three good, but I'm taking the coconut crusted. What point are you at? No, I think that's one. She's going with the Godfather, guys. Right. Anyway, like I said, we're at Hobos in Key Largo. They prepared our mahi three different styles. It's awesome. The tuna was appetizer, blackened. It was awesome. So we're going to end this video. Sit here and enjoy our meal. If you, you like it, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.